Hi you guys, welcome back to my garden. So I'm getting ready to get my patio area together. Now, let me show you what the concrete urns are looking like and then we'll go ahead and dismantle those as well. Okay, so if you look at these two containers right here, I mean, they are just loving life, but this was all planted as a cohesive look. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and remove this and just get it planted up for the summertime as well. So, we have our plants. Let's get these girls in their place. Let's start planting. If I'm gonna bring the heat to this area and really make it what it needs to be, we're gonna go ahead and remove from this section right here all of these evergreens from this window box. Now, these two right here are still living. We're gonna hit them in the shade, no fertilizer, just water and just let them kind of do their own thing because they've been receiving overhead watering. Then in addition to that, they also had a freeze as well. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna pull this out and then from there, we're gonna start tossing our plants in. that is the most important thing. One of the things I get asked about, what is the powder and what are you sprinkling in your containers when you're planting them up? So I use Biotone Starter Fertilizer and this helps to prevent transplant shock and it just has a lot of good things that the plant likes in it. Proven Winners Slow Release Fertilizer. This application is good up to six months, but sometimes I will go back in around the eight week mark and I will kind of just top dress my containers with a little bit of it on the top. Because I have a couple of other things that I like to use to fertilize because in order for me to get this beautiful display of blooms, I'm going to have to feed them. Can you just imagine when summertime comes around and you see these beautiful blooms and I can't wait to give you guys an update on what everything looks like. The only thing I have left to do now is get these girls watered in. you guys have a window box at your house, I would love to hear about it and I would love to hear about the beautiful combination if you have one. If you don't have a window box, I would love to hear if you guys have started planting up any of your summer containers and if you're using super bells in your combination that you planted up. In the comment box, let me know what you guys think about this color combination. I can't wait to get the rest of my patio planted up so it can scream the summer vibe. I'm very satisfied with how everything turned out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye bye.